av ammunition. Precis under plåten. Okay, after speaking with Henry from Nine Hole Reviews and other people, I thought it would be a fun idea to compare uh, the civilian uh, TR7, the 7.62x39 version of, uh, I guess it's called AK-15 in the Russian military, and my abortion of an AK uh, that doesn't recognize anything. It's an Hungarian. Uh, is it called an AMD 65? Anyway, it's from the 80s and I kitted it with Zenitko stuff. So it's kind of comparable. It has a Magpul folding stock, folds in the other direction compared to, compared to uh, the AK-12, I guess. And it has a, a quad rail in the front and the hinged Zenitko dust cover with an EOTech on top. And I shortened the barrel. It has the AK-12 gas block, so I did a little black voodoo magic with it. So it's kind of a Frankenstein AK-12, and it's suppressed. This is pretty much a stock. Uh, well, it says TR3 on it in 7.62x39. Uh, it has the same little awkward thing with this. Uh, fire selector that it goes down a fair bit compared to regular AKs and and the front hand guard is similarly wobbly to what nine hole reviews said uh, but I don't really give a shit about how good this is for the Russian military I'm more interested in is this any good for a sport shooter so yeah this quick detach system doesn't really do me any favors because I want threading on the barrel to put a suppressor on it. And it doesn't have an adjustable gas block, just a gas plug. So that doesn't help me. There are aftermarket solutions for this, I'm sure. And if you compare this AK Evolution thing with uh, the Stade AUG, or the Stade AUG, this is the A1 variant with the fixed scope and everything. And it, it has a last round bolt hold open from the start, but it doesn't have any, anything here, uh, bolt hold opens or anything, it just has the, the charging handle with a, uh, for the assist button. And if you compare this to a later revision that has rails on it, that's, uh, that will hold zero. It has the bolt release and all that good stuff here as well. This is quite an upgrade. Uh, to an existing platform that actually is really useful. It has uh, a gas port you can select for suppressed use and all that good stuff. This is uh, a much better upgrade, according to me, if you compare the A1 version to the A3, I guess it is. So yeah, uh, let's, let's just uh, do some shooting, I guess, and see how this shoots. I was gonna compare the Zenitko dust cover to uh, the Ishmash dust cover when you remove it and put it back and see if it holds zero. We're going to use fancy cellular below ammunition as well, so we don't corrode anything. Uh, I only have uh, really old surplus ammunition myself. Okay. Five shots. <clears throat> so we're not really sure where this is zeroed, so I'm gonna aim in the middle of, of the target. And then we'll see where the shots end up. We're only interested in, in the grouping of this, not uh, actually where I'm hitting, <laughs> if that makes sense. Looks like it's hitting very high. <clears throat> uh, 
see I can't really tell from the zoom camera if it even caught it but uh, I guess I have to go to the target and have a look so the trigger on um, the trigger was fairly fairly nice a uh, little bit of a sponge take up but it broke fairly cleanly Aim at the same place. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'll go have a look at the target then. Huh? So this was the point of aim and my group was super shitty and with a TR3, you can see the group up there, much much better but I did chop my barrel and mess it up severely but yeah, uh, victory for the newer Russian rifle. <laughs> that is the group uh, you can expect out of a new AK. Uh, it's approximately 3 to 4 MOA. This is the group you can expect out of a shitty AK that's had 10,000 rounds through it <laughs> without cleaning. Okay, let's try to move to move uh, uh, the dust cover and see if we can notice any difference okay okay so the AK shot a lot better I'm not sure if it's me forgetting to use the eye protection when I shot suppressed because uh, that actually makes a difference we'll see but this has zero take up and uh, breaks very cleanly so we'll see uh, let's let's uh, Removed the the dust cover. So, well, okay. And okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Ah, <laughs> okay. Well, at least it's super tight, and that's a good thing, right? So well, you haven't tried to get it on yet. Okay. Am I gonna need a hammer for this? Oh, here we go. Turns out violence works. Russian stuff, right? <laughs> okay. <coughs> so. Dust cover has come off and it's been put back on again. So let's do another five shots. Same point of aim. And I put a little red sticker in the middle of the grouping. So you have some reference point. really like the Holosun sight, uh, much better than the EOTech, according to me at least. Uh, with my astigmatism, the EOTech doesn't actually work that well. Usually holographic sights work better than red dots for astigmatism, but for me it doesn't. Okay. So this is actually fastened into 
the trunnion and also here into the handguard and this uh, recoil spring assembly is a little bit different as well I think this one this little knob in the back is a bit longer but yeah it feels like it isn't as tight as the AK-12 but who knows Were really nice rifles uh, but I handicapped mine a little bit by shortening the barrel but I kind of like it that way so I don't give a shit let's have a look at the, the targets okay let's see if I manage to get a smaller boosting with my rifle then I actually put on my glasses uh, does not look like it still kind of spread out so these are the old holes and the middle was around here so I can't, it's so spread out I can't really tell if the point of impact shifted for, for my group and as you can see up there for the AK-12 it's pretty much the same no real difference I can't say that there is a point of impact shift on either of them. Mine <laughs> shoots so shittily, for, even for an AK, uh, so I can't really tell. And AK-12, yeah, well, I don't know. I, I would have to shoot a lot of series to, to make, make sure there's an actual difference. Like shoot three, three of them and make sure they group consistently, put them on top of each other, remove the dust cover, put it back and shoot another free series and I don't really have the time to do that I'm gonna have to trust nine hole reviews when they say that it has a point of impact shift but it's not big enough to make a large difference for, for the, this was at a hundred meters and um, for like Ipsic and stuff like that it's probably good enough I don't know I don't shoot Ipsic okay Okay, so some final thoughts on on this uh, from a sh sport shooting perspective. I think nine hole reviews and everyone else covered uh, the military part of it. Uh, anyway, regarding the dust cover holding zero, I spoke with nine hole reviews um, and uh, I told them that it seems to be holding zero for my friend's uh, rifle, but it was super tight fit as well. So he wrote. Uh, uh, the owner of our example has been using this one a lot for the last year. He has cleaned and disassembled it as needed, and therefore the dust cover went from needing a punch to remove the pin to now you can strip it by hand. According to our sources in KC, Kalashnikov concern, I guess, they see around a 1 MOA shift. My theory is that it gets loose with use, but comes very tight. Uh, so the dust cover is a wear point. Yeah, so that's the thing I guess and uh, um, so that isn't really that good so uh, shit will wear even if you're not not a conscript or whatever and that's gonna have to pick it apart every time to clean it or whatnot sooner or later it's gonna wear down so and you can't put optics on on the handguard on this uh, firearm either that, that's just forget it it's uh, so flimsy uh, other than that, my real point of concern is the muscle device. Uh, it's easy to take off and all that good stuff. And if you manage to score a suppressor or wh what have you, that actually fits that. Uh, good for you. <laughs> I don't. I don't know know any of that. So so my rails hold zero, and the handguard, the Sinitco handguard I have that I'm pointing at right now in the video, that 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 shit is rock solid. Uh, so yeah. 
I don't know what to say. It's it shoots nice. It's as accurate as any other AK. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a bit more expensive, and it's probably not worth the money. I spoke to a guy in Switzerland the other day, and uh, he wanted one, but he's a collector, so he wanted one for that reason. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. This is probably for collectors that want this firearm. And uh, me making a, uh, it's, it's, I've since this video in the background, I remade mine into some kind of Frankenstein AK-12. Uh, anyway, uh, me, I'm just messing with my guns, basically. Uh, and yeah, you can see there, it's, I don't really trust that dust cover to hold zero. Any, any, any long time, yeah. But yeah, it works, I guess. I don't know what to say. I would probably, if I was gonna get a new Russian AK, if that was available right now, I would get an AK-100 series and then put Sinitko or Shurshot armament gear on it. That's pretty much where I'm at. So that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. <laughs> exactly zero. Have a good day.